Hey guys, JD here. So we're just gonna jump right in. I'm gonna show you how I set up my trading chart on Ninja Trader platform. And so let's get going. After you, you know, get an account, download. Uh, I use the desktop version. After you download the desktop version of Ninja Trader, you have this icon. Then you just log in with the cred login credentials that they will give you. And anytime you log in and enter trader, it comes up the same way. It puts a whole bunch of stuff up on your screen that you may not use at all. Some of you may. Um, I just need a plain old fashioned chart. That's all I need. Because we don't put a lot on there. All right. So. Tell you right out the gate, you know. I didn't need any of those charts. I could I could have just modified them, um, but here's the first thing that you need, right? Let's just start from the bare minimum. Now, if I needed to connect to make some connections, I would go here to connect to, you know, a live account or or a prop firm account or Coinbase if I'm doing crypto or you know forex fx uh fxcm or forex.com if i'm doing forex you know that's under connections but we're just going to start with a chart right so we want a new chart okay so right here is the data series box first thing we need is an instrument so let's trade the es all right so es 325 and i didn't mention this in the last video this is kind of a part two of the video uh, I want to just make sure I say it real quick as far as margin goes, just so you understand this ES is the ES S&P mini contracts and it goes for you need at least $500 worth of capital or margin to trade one contract. So if you were thinking about uh, going live your own account, you know, $1,000 really doesn't take you that far in futures, right? Because that would only allow you to trade two contracts at the most. Okay, now if you trade the MES, if we were to go to the MES, which I don't have it up right now, but it's just a M in front of ES, then that would be the micro contracts. Now with the micro contracts, you only need $50 worth of margin to trade one contract because one contract is only worth $5 a point. All right, so that's the difference real quick in the ES and the MES, whether you're going to trade mini contracts or micro contracts. If you're on your own live account and I'm telling you, you have a small account, you need to be trading micros. Now, if you're with a prop firm and you got 25, well, you really don't have 25K, but you know, you can lose up to 2,000 a day, 3,000 a day, more than that, going through a prop firm, then you may still be able to do many. So that's a decision that you definitely need to think about, all right? So we're just gonna go with the ES. Now, you can, after you create your whole chart, you can save it so that you can load up quicker next time. I'm just gonna leave it like this. But so we trade the ES. Now I like to trade a tick chart. See, you have all these different options with Ninja Trader. I like to trade a chick tick chart. And let's go 3,000 ticks on that, right? And then if I scroll down here, plot executions. A lot of people ask me all this all the time, like, well, how do I get the executions off? Because after you take so many trades, it can just mess make your chart look messy. So you can always put it on do not plot or markers only. All right, so we'll just go to do not plot and that's it hit okay bang we got a chart i thought it was gonna be a clean chart it is not let's see that's weird because i haven't connected to anything so i don't know where they getting these numbers from uh okay well we got a new chart. We picked the ES and here it is, ES 325. So if you needed to change it again, you could do it from here. You know, if you want to go to a 60 minute chart or a minute chart, whatever you want to do, um, you could do it from there. But maybe something happened that I didn't turn off. So here's where I would turn off. Do not plot, okay. All right, so now they're gone. Guess those were my old trades. All right, so. We are on, well, we're currently on a 2500. Let's put this to 3000. So now we're on a 3000 tick chart. All right. This is the ES. And 
So next thing we want to do, we got a chart, we got an instrument, we got a time frame. Let me get my indicators on here. So you do that by clicking right here under indicators. And simple movement average, just hit remove, remove, remove. And then if you hit apply, you can see uh, what happens immediately. All right, so all I use is the 21 EMA. So you double click on it, it'll drop it to the bottom. It'll also put the pro properties over here so you can adjust because I want a 21 and I also want a different color line a white smoke and I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker so I can see it easily hit apply there it is all right that'll work hit okay now me personally I don't need the lines behind here on my chart and this is kind of bright for me so this is all personal preference stuff here but if I right click here go to properties and you will get that theme typically anything you want to do on ninja trader um, hover over it right click and find properties and you can take some stuff off so on these these grid lines I'm just gonna make them invisible for the vertical and horizontal hit apply okay all right now we're cleaning up getting closer closer to how I like to trade now I'm gonna click right on the candle right click find properties all right I'm just going to on the candle wick candle body outline I'm gonna change this color to black okay cool now these candles look like more what I am used to okay now after that I'm almost ready to trade, but let's talk about add-ons because Ninja Trader comes with a whole bunch of add-ons. So for instance, I, um, I'm i using a tick chart, so I need to know when the candle is gonna finish so I can you know wait for my setups. You know, it's different than um, a one minute chart or a two minute chart where you know every minute, every two minutes you get a new candle. Uh, tick charts go off of volume, so you know depending on if there's been 3,000 contracts traded, will bring about a new candle so with that I need a tick counter so what you can do you can do a separate several couple ways if I just go out to Google here and use my little tip ninja trader tick tick counter all right it pulls up a few here all right so there's one I'm already familiar with called universal counter right here this is the ones I'm currently using and if you click there, what it does is it actually takes you to the Ninja Trader ecosystem. All right. So whenever you're trying to do an add on, like if you want a measured leg tool or a tick counter or news, also I have there's a new news uh, tool I'm using also. Um, check the Ninja Trader ecosystem because there's a lot of developers who, who develop stuff for Ninja Trader. Okay. And this video is the same. It's really after you download, let me just download it. All right after you download yep I accept download all right all right so it's downloaded so this is how you would install it I also just show you right now you would actually just go to um, you would go to what Jay you would go to any tools you would go to tools import ninja ninja script add-on so this is the same process now for pretty much every add-on you would do um, it's taking a while to kick in here uh, i think it's gonna kick in i think it's gonna kick in okay here we go here's the download we would just upload it and I'm gonna cancel it because I already have it uploaded but after you would do that then it would just be here in your indicator list now so after you do all that it would be right here this happens to be I think this TG folder universal counter so let's put that on and I like to change mine around a little bit if you're not gonna use this you know this wouldn't even matter I want it on the chart text the bottom right is okay well let's put it to the top left right top right right now so we can see it easy and white 
And I don't do the aerial font myself. Let's go to something a little stronger. Let's go with uh and a reason to make my eyes work. Let's go with something I can see real easy. Impact. Then I'm gonna make it about at least 40. Pi, okay. All right, so it didn't pop up, and that's probably because I'm not connected to anything. So let me connect real quick. All right, now we're connected to some data. Connected to some data. This thing looked like it was trending sideways, and boom, now it's now it's trucking. Yep, now it's trucking. All right, so see the top, see the tick counter. Tick counter kicked in. So I got sorry, I got sidetracked right there. Uh, so this current candle has you know eleven hundred contracts left. So. That's the universal tick counter that I like to use. And so that's pretty much it, man. The chart is pretty clean, right? We got tick counters. Now, if you need tools to like do, let me see. Also under drawing tools, this is where you get your, if you wanna make some horizontal lines, if you want a uh, Fibonacci retracement, uh, you can grab a trend channel like this. To me, it would be something like this. Yeah. This one's a little different, but boom, right there. Look at that. Look at that channel working up. All right. So all of that is under drawing tools. All right. So now, getting close. But before we can actually take a trade, we need to set up um, an automated trading strategy. All right. So you do that here. This here is Chart Trader. We we'll click here. Click here. Boom. All right. Now we got some. Now we got some stuff over here, right? We can buy, we can sell. Okay, so, and when you first do this, you're not gonna have any strategies here. So let's let's make a strategy. So you click on custom. Okay, and we're gonna stick with one contract. And these are in, the parameters are in ticks though. So this is very important. Remember there's four ticks and one point. So let's say we wanna risk no more than five points on the stop. That would mean five times four ticks is 20. So we put a 20 here for stop loss. All right, and let's just double that up. If we're gonna risk 20, let's go for 40. So basically what we're saying here, we're risking five points to go for 10 points. That's it, all right? Now, let's put something in for a move to break even situation, all right? So right now we're at none. If we do custom, let's say after we are up, eight points, right? Which is, excuse me, not eight points. That would be pretty crazy. Uh, let's say, cause we're trying to get, we're risking five points. Let's say when we're up three points, which is 12 ticks, we want to move to break even plus one. The plus one is so that we can make some money if, if prices come back, right? So for this, for this, once we're up three points, we want to move to break even, all right? And so I'll just hit okay there. And you can say that. Now let's say this template as YouTube test ATM, all right? Hit save, okay. Now look, hey, it's here, all right? YouTube test ATM. All right, so now that we have that set up, Let's test it here. And just go Order on. Filled. All right, so yep, so we're five points back. We're 10 points away. And we just wanna see what happens when we get up three points here. See what happens.
Come on, push on up. Let's see what happens here. Two, two. There it is. Boom. See? That's that. So it's working correctly. All right. So when we uh oof. Target filled. Nice. So the ATM strategy is working accurately. Going for 10, risking five. Um, that's exactly how we would want it to happen. So that is just a simple setup. The way I set up my chart, I keep a clean chart, 21 EMA, use the ATM strategy to run my specific strategy. So if you need a trading strategy for the futures market, not only to pass funded challenges, but to, <laughs> to the works in live, works in funded challenges, um, I like low risk, high reward setups. And there's a way that you can make sure you do that each and every trade in the futures market. So I'll leave a link in the description. Check it out. Hit the like button right now if you was appreciating this one. We're going to get into some more strategy here coming up to finish off January. I greatly appreciate you guys watching. All right. Till next time. My name is JD. And as always, I wish you increase on the sudden. And if you didn't see part one to this where we talked about why you would even want to trade futures, check this video out right here. Later.